All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking really quickly, just showing you guys how I used this Acasis external SSD drive and this SSD four terabyte SSD that I found online. Both of these together for under $300 to get four terabytes of external storage for my new iMac that I just purchased. So I just purchased this brand new uh, M1 iMac. This thing is awesome, I love it. It's really cool. But as you guys probably know with a lot of the new computers, a lot of the new Mac computers, you're limited on storage. And so that's where you might run into some issues with the Mac minis, MacBook Pros, or the IMAX, you can do this same thing with all of those. So here's what I purchased right here. is the Acasis SSD enclosure and the Crucial four terabyte SSD. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox these. We're gonna put this inside. And we're gonna test it out. I wanna show you guys before I get started here. This is the website where I purchased I'll put a link in the description, but this is $84. Might be lower than that by the time you watch this video. And this is the enclosure. It's the Thunderbolt enclosure. So it's gonna be very fast on the speeds. And then I purchased on eBay, I found this was $200. This Crucial P3 Plus, four terabyte internal SSD. Again, if you're watching this a year from now, that'll be cheaper but look on eBay or Amazon. You can also do this for like a two terabyte or one terabyte, but this four terabyte, cause I have a lot of pictures and videos. I wanted to have enough space and I got this for $200. So I'm at $300, a little less than $300 total for both of these. And I'm gonna unbox them and show you guys how it works. So this is the packaging here. Looks nice. Nice. Feels like a quality product here. There's my Thunderbolt cord. It's also USB-C, it's the same thing. Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, and USB-C, they're all the same, same connection. And then it comes with this, is like, this is important, this is a little heat sink I'm gonna put this on my SSD drive before installing it, which will help dissipate some of the heat. For my crucial external SSD, here we go. They've made these things so much smaller than they used to be. That's it. Four terabytes of stuff is gonna fit on that about the size of my finger. All of my pictures and videos from 10 years are gonna fit on this. Chip the size of my finger, isn't that, a, isn't that crazy? So there it is. And next we're going to install this in the external enclosure, and then we're gonna test it out. So here are the instructions. If you need to pause the screen, you can look here. But we've got uh, 40 gigabytes per second speed is what they're claiming here. This works with USB 4, 3, and 2. And it's USB type C. But you could get an adapter to go to USB type A, which is also something else that I purchased. And it's saying to attach the thermal pad on the top of the SSD. So I'm gonna do that next. Here's the Acasis case. This thing is solid, not cheap, feels solid. And on the side here, you see it says open. You just pop that down and it comes right off. Okay, there we go. And here is 
me attempting to put the thermal pad on. Now you see it came with two different thermal pads here. One of them is a little bit thicker and this one's thinner. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the thicker one. Now again, what this does, the thermal pad helps to kind of dissipate some of the heat that comes off of this thing. There we go. I opened up the website and I'll put a link in the description here, but this is the Acasis website. And it says, you know, how do the thermal pads work? It talks all about it, what it does. Bam. But I'll put a link on the description on how that works. All right, here's how it goes in. You put it in at an angle like that till it clicks. Then you push it down. In the, uh, with the Acasis enclosure, it came with two of these little guys. So that's just gonna go on there. Okay, I had to pause that to look it up. Here's how you wanna do this. The rubber stopper is gonna slide in to the end of your SSD. Then you're going to push down and it will click like that. There we go. Now it's not popping up and I can put my cover back on. This just goes back in and clicks. There we go. Got the USB-C on the outside and now we're gonna try it out in the computer. All right, so we got the external drive put together. We're going to connect it to my new iMac and then we're gonna do a speed test. Connecting now. Do -do 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 -do. See if it pops up. Okay, this is the first time I've loaded it. It needs to be initialized. So you're gonna to go to initialize if this is your first time doing this. That'll pull up your disk utility. And this is the external, a cases. Show all devices, a cases. And you're gonna go to, let's see, erase, erase and format the drive. I'm gonna call mine external SSD. You can put whatever you want there. And if you're gonna be using Mac only, you wanna be doing APFS. If you're going to be doing Windows and Mac, this is important. You're going to want to do XFAT if you're doing Windows and Mac, because that will work on both. And if you're going to be using Windows only, you're going to have to go over to a Windows computer and do it on there and do NTFS for the file system. But since I'm doing Mac and this video is primarily focused on Mac, I'm going to do this APFS. GUID. We're going to do a race. All right, there we go, we're done. And now you can see it shows up mounted. External SSD, four terabyte available, heck yeah. And now I'm gonna show you guys this program. This is a speed test, it's free on the App Store. You just search for Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, which is what I did. And I'm gonna do a speed test here on our external drive, so. Let's see how to do this. Settings in the middle. Select target drive. And go and select the external. Choose that. And we're gonna run our speed test. There we go. Now I'm getting the speeds that I wanted. Turns out not all Thunderbolt ports or not all USB ports are created equal. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about on the back here of my machine. I've got four ports. I thought they were all the same. It turns out only these two on the left are the faster Thunderbolt speed. So that's what I want to use with my external. So I figured it out. I'll put a 
I'll show you on the screen. I wasn't getting the speeds that I wanted here. And then I realized that I have both USB and Thunderbolt, two of each. So now, as you can see on the disc, disc speed test, I'm getting speeds of like 2,500, which is good. It's not 4,800 like this said, but this is up to. So this is still an excellent speed. And I'll do some real world tests. Uh, I'm gonna show you how fast it, it transfers like 10 gigabytes worth of data. So let's do that. All right, I wanted to see a do a speed test to see the speed difference. So this is my old computer. I'm transferring 10 gigabytes of data from my external onto my desktop here. And I'm timing it to see how long this takes. I'll speed up the video and get back with you here. Okay, that transfer 10 gigs took two minutes and seven seconds. So two minutes to transfer 10 gigs onto my old computer from the external. Now let's try to do the other way around. We'll try to go um, from the computer here to the external. Same 10 gigs. This is my old SSD drive that I was using. Then I'm gonna compare that to the Acasis and see what kind of difference we have. All right, that one was about a minute and a half, maybe a couple more seconds. So two minutes or a minute and a half for 10 gigs of data on my old SSD drive that I was using on my Windows computer. Now we're gonna try the same 10 gig data test on the Acasis and see what the difference is. Reminder, if you are wanting to try to purchase this, I'm gonna put links in the description on exactly the same thing I bought, so you can get it for yourself. I'll put a link down here in the description, check it out. All right, and now here's the same test. I've got um, about 10 gigs right here, 10.6 gigs. I'm gonna drag that over to my external and we're gonna see that Whoa, I was gonna see the time and it immediately happened. That was about one second. Awesome, okay, let's try that again. 10 gigs going back this way onto the desktop here. One, one, one second, wow. Wow, I'm blown away. Needless to say, I was, I was waiting a minute and a half to two minutes on my old computer for 10 gigs and that went in like one second like that. This is gonna be great external storage uh, for my Mac. And if you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro or Mac Mini and you want fast external storage for cheap, this is the way to do it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more and check the description. I'm going to put links to the best products, the same products that I bought. I'm gonna put a link in the description. So hopefully for under $300, you can get the same thing, like a four terabyte. Or if you want like $200, you could probably do two terabytes. So it's great, cheap external storage. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Check out our channel. I have some more tech videos on there, plus our exploring videos, exploring Missouri, plus music, plus Jesus stuff. And so I hope you like it all. God bless you. We'll see you on the next video.